Hi everyone and welcome to today's adventure with the Romando family. So we are doing another geocaching adventure. We're going to show you lots of cool stuff. We're starting in this village called Morley. We're doing an adventure lab with physical geocaches included. It's around two and a half mile walk. So grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or whatever it is you drink. And I hope you enjoy this upload like I say, there's a lot to see in it. So thank you, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, and give it a like, guys. Thank you, and enjoy. So what we're coming to look at is this mu mu mausoleum, mausoleum. Look at the coat of arms above the door. You need the three digit number, the number of the crescents, the number of the stars, and the number of the hands. Three, three, one. Three crescents, three stars, one hand. Yeah? Yes? Do you agree? So, this is the Satch Everall Bateman Museum. Great two listed building. There's a lot of information on it. It was erected in 1897. Mrs. Anne Bateman, wife of the late Sir Hugh Allen Cheville Bateman, who died in a riding accident on Morley Hayes Wood, 26th of October, 1896. Yeah. Sir Hugh was Lord of the Manor of Morley, but never lived in the original manor, which had been demolished many years earlier. It's interesting. I'll take one there. It's got the coat of arms and look, look at the look at the glass stained window jasmine. I don't know if, if the camera's picking it up very well or not. Interesting. Black barn at the side of it though. Spire on the church. It's huge. <laughs> Some yummy apples. Now walking around the field. Hoping to locate a geocache in this area. I think we're going the right way. One. Is it? Yeah. It goes back and carries on going that way. Alright. Oh, we're not going over that way though, are we? Spot an old Massey Ferguson in the distance over there. I can't see what model it is though. Anyway. Uh, it's a snake! That's pretty cool. Cool cache. So two physical geocaches now done. And now we're walking up to the Morley Mound. This is an extremely important location in local history. The Morley Mound is categorised English heritage as a medieval Martin Bailey castle. Mm. We are heading to it now. So, later Roman Road, only five minutes away. Transport links around here, but it'll be an excellent. Right, it's technically here, guys. Oh, yeah, it's right at the hill, look. No, you can't climb it. It's not climbable. It's not being looked after or anything. It is just a little, like a little mound. On the... Tr that 
is the old Mott and Bailey there, which is covered in trees now. Ah, oh, it's amazing that's still there. It's actually marked on English heritage. I was going to fly my drone over, but there's literally no point because you wouldn't see it from here. I'll carry on walking, guys. Just think of all the people that have walked this path over the centuries, especially with the Mott and Bailey being there, just up the lane. So loads of dad, uh, badger sets here. I think that's where they are anyway. I know there's quite a few in the area around here. That definitely looks like a badger set. So we're on Geocache. Let's have a look. 3048 for today. After doing the last adventure lab. Apple trees. Mmm. Nice. Right. So this is Armhazer's Lane. Iconic piece of airwash history. Should be a sundial here somewhere. A sundial here somewhere. There's a plaque there, look, to commemorate the Centurion of Fast Councils. There's a bake off. British Bake Off. Yeah. Hey? Uh, they are. They, they uh, plums, I think, aren't they? Not they're not very good condition now. No. It's got a big old green apples in there. Yeah, there's got some nice apples on there. Pears. Oh, they're pears, yeah. They're about a pear tree. That's what you like. Your nana's got one of them. Just like that. Mm. Pear tree, like that. See, look, you notice this, look. This block of houses, look, with a coat of arms in the middle of it. You see? I mean, that's pretty impressive to be honest. That is pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? That? Yeah, that's what I mean. If you look at the roof, look at the roof line. In Smalley died, he left a bequest to build six almshouses, three for residents of Morley, three for people from Smalley. The occupants also received a small pension from the bequest. The six original houses were converted into four dwellings in 1970. Extremely tiny but quite exquisite. The houses are still owned. 9, 11, 13. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 7, 9, 11, and 13. And the two haven't got yeah. Uh, the, the, f the houses are still owned by the Charitable Trust, established to administer Sh Sh Satch Keverell's will. The photo shows what they look like in the early 19th century. Notice the sundial, the top there, look, and the coat of arms. Latin inscription above the central door. Okay, right, so the answer is, what year is mentioned on the inscription? Can you read that inscription on there? What year does it say? We can walk up here, it's, it's owned by the trust. Sixteen fifty six. Yeah, sixteen fifty six. Okay. Well, that's we found the next year. Spidey. Hidden in the field. Spidey. It's a spider. Ooh. Right, put it back then, Jazz. You put it back. Got to kind of cover it over, Jazz. Out the way then, so I can cover it over. So now, ooh, I tripped. Ooh, I nearly tripped over then, guys. Close. Look at that look. Old abandoned. Now, nah, cut this look. There's an old abandoned, like, ruin over here. And a gate. Look at the old gate look. Old gate and an old barn.
That all also looks like an old horse box at the end. That's pretty cool. Ah, they're not waiting, they're off. They're off, they're not waiting. So we've flown the drone and tried to, there's power lines everywhere. If you look, I have one, so if you look, there's power lines all around here. But I've had a little fly of the drone trying to show you those four houses and that hut, abandoned hut. So click on the little banner at the top there, guys, and go check that drone video out or go to description, look at it there, or go to the playlist where my drone videos are and check it out. I want to keep it separate because there's quite a bit of footage in it. So we're going to continue the walk now. See how many more geocaches we can find. And Jasmine's found a load of blackberries. <laughs> you found some blackberries, Jas? Oh, some good ones there. Isn't there? Some good blackberries. Oh, look at that. Mm, juicy blackberries. Mm. So that's 3,051 geocaches done there. After doing ad lab number four. Ad lab number four wasn't really talking about a lot other than it's at the junction of a Roman road, but there's literally nothing to see. Um, and it was on the bend. And yeah, um, you probably think that Roman roads were all straight. They weren't. They, were, they did have bends. Another physical geocache found. Oh yeah. Steve, Alright. When did you find that one? 29 Alright. Steve O, the big famous geocacher. He's found this. You know Steve O? So you can see where we are. Four and a half miles from Derby. 18 miles from Mansfield. They're quite cool, aren't they? Willers. Whatever that is. Good grass this one. Huge block. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright everyone, so after that geocache, which we've been to spend way too long trying to find, we're now heading along the golf course, through the middle of it. Try and show you the hills in the distance. I think that might be Strawberry Hill down there, but I can't be too sure. Or it's um, Silver Hill in the distance over there. Yeah, beautiful, absolute gorgeous golf course, honestly. We do have some of the best golf courses in the world in England. Some people may not agree, but we do. This one is a pretty decent course. So we are getting towards the end of our geocaching session today. Please remember guys, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel. Let's have a quick look and show you the golf course. There's the hotel down there and the bar. Yeah, pretty nice course. Not many people on it today, actually. So we're leaving the course now, and we're going to carry on through the fields back to the church where we started. Well, guys, it don't happen very often. It's very rare indeed. But I've just seen the Lancaster bomber fly over. Best bit of bar here, we only caught the end of it because I was looking for a geocache, and it flies that low when it flies over the UK that um, if you don't know about it you've got to be damn quick getting your film, phone out and filming it uh, and it came from that general direction and it flew over here I think heading towards Christ Stand which is over that way and then it's made a turn now and it's heading somewhere else and then it'll eventually head back to Lincolnshire 
So yeah, pretty happy we caught that on camera. Wasn't expecting it at all. So I will add that footage in now for you to watch. You may have already seen it in one of my shorts, but anyway, yeah, we'll carry on now, everyone. Up to this water tower. Impressive, isn't it, Lewis? Imagine hundreds of them bombing over Germany. That's what your your mum's granddad used to be able to crew of. And he crashed. But survived. It's huge, isn't it? This old building here, like a water tower. Almost just made it look dead obvious what we're doing. Oh, he's hay bale is still. I don't know, he's walking across the field now for some reason. Here we have a new Holland baler, a BB960A. With a JCB tractor. Oh, has he crossed with one of his bales fallen over? That's what's up with him. One of his bales has oh, yeah. collapsed. Fast track JCB. Oh, beast. You know me, guys. I like a good tractor spot. It's a pretty good one. Nice. Not so nice at that bell from the water tower. Back down towards the church. I was going to film the water tower, but you know, there's always somebody around. This time it's a farmer, or one of the farmers. He's, uh, he's over there, he's on his phone, he's ringing. Looks like he's ringing his boss, or the farm owner, or maintenance, because he's got that problem with his bail up there, by the looks of it. Are you enjoying it today, everyone? beautiful day um, and I hope I've not made the video too long and I've showed you plenty of things today uh, especially the Lancaster and if you like tractors the tractor at the end it's pretty cool going um, Jasmine's playing in the hay and we're on our heading into this really tall stuff interesting look at these interesting like fern and look at these tall plants I don't know what they are uh, oh, beautiful house there look at that got some tennis courts lovely we're all right next to the church. The church is on the left hand side here. Hi everyone, so as we get to the end here, this is the old boys school in a local village. So I just thought I'd show you that. And we've now done 3,061 geocaches. So that ends this upload. I hope you enjoyed this walkabout today. Please remember to give the video a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And we're back again soon with more really cool geocaches. Thank you and goodbye.